Morning, Shelly. Uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, is everybody on the team healthy? You haven't had to hold anybody back uh, out of this first practice? Uh, no, we've, uh, we are healthy. We have one player who just came off of a minor surgery. Besides that, we're good to go. And how do y'all do it? Do you wear masks during the whole practice? Or what's, what's the protocol there? Got my mask. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, you know, today wasn't so hot. It was actually a really nice day to start. I think um, I wasn't as apt to take my mask off as I needed. But um, if we're not right near the players, then um, we, I don't think we necessarily have to have it on. But when we were dressing them or close to them on the sideline, then um, we had them on this morning. Shelly, um, with the departures of players like Grace Fisk and Michaela Krasowski, do you still think defense is going to be the identity of this team? Um, you know, I think that's been an identity of our program for a long time. And, um, you know, I think it's taken some star players for sure, but also it's just somewhat of our style of play where we really are a very organized team defensively. Um, so we get kind of labeled as a defensive team, which may not be the, the best way to describe us, but um, out of that, we, we've had some players that have, have, have shined. And I think we have some young stars that are going to be growing in the program, in that system, in the back. Um, but I think the, the, the focus of the team may be in our midfield um, with Jaleesa returning in there. Um, you know, we have uh, Luciana up front um, in the attack, who's had three great years, and I know she's ready to go in the fourth year. Um, we, uh, we've got some stars in the freshman class. I think there's some great midfielders already that are showing well. Sam Chang's returning in the midfield, um, who's uh, one of the youth Canadian national team players, and she's coming off a great year and, and healthy now. And um, um, it, Kat Berry came in as a freshman and, was, and she'll adjust to the uh, college game, but she's someone to really keep an eye on, someone that can score goals. Um, but obviously we have Anna Patton returning in the back who will lead the defense and um, we'll definitely need her leadership as we have two new goalkeepers, three new goal goalkeepers, and that's a, a, a key position um, to have some experience in and, and losing Michaela, that's probably the hardest one to, to fill right now. Just kind of going off that those three goalies, um, besides goaltending, uh, goalkeeper, what other position battles are you looking at uh, as we get ready for the season? Well, we've got to have um, someone replace Grace. And there's two freshmen that have come in that um, Hallie Meadows and, and Caitlin Leffler, who are, are kind of true center backs and kind of how they adjust, we'll be looking at them. Um, Julissa Harris has the ability to play there if we need to move her out of the midfield because she's uh, excellent in the midfield or in the center back role. So it's someone that we can look at for sure. Um, you know, our, our outside backs, there's a lot of good um, players that are returning uh, and um, between uh, Paige McCula and uh, Sarah Eskew, Sutton Jones has been playing there and finished off strong in the, in the, last season when she took over for Tatum Malazzo. Um, Cam Dixon has been training there a bit. Um, Jen Coulter, we've had um, Susan Kell. We have several that play in that area. So we'll have to sort out kind of who, who fits in those areas as well. Shelly, you've mentioned a lot of them already, but uh, how much will your, will your freshman class be able to get on the field and compete right away this season? Yeah, well, I mean, just watching them today, I think they will have a good shot. Um, they bring uh, a lot to the table. Um, again, you always have uh, freshman um, issues, <laughs> meaning, uh, you know, just kind of grasping the concept, speed of play, but their work rate, what they bring to the table is excellent. Um, kind of a neat thing to see uh, Luciana Zulo's sisters here with us now, Karina, and she's just a little spitfire, just runs her tail off. And, and she's going to be fun to watch over the, the next four years. And she's going to be able to play right away. Just the fitness level of the freshmen is very good. So they've prepared themselves well to handle that piece. And it's kind of how they adjust to the training. And, and already today, I saw her do extremely well. Kat Berry did well. Riley Forster, 
in the midfield really brings up some strength there as well. So we're, we're excited about um, some of these freshmen, what they're doing. And Hallie Meadows came in last year. Um, the short spring season we did have, she was here. Um, so she came in and adjusted um, a little bit and she, she learned the ropes and uh, is probably a little bit more ahead to step in just because she's had that um, short amount of experience already. Um, Shelly, uh, obviously there's still no schedule out yet. Um, is that a little frustrating to be uh, in August and still not have clarity on what the season's going to look like? Uh, yeah, I think it just has gone along this whole pandemic, honestly. <laughs> um, I mean, we're, we've all had to be waiting and living week to week to figure out what's going to happen. And I think our team, our mentality right now is we're just ready to play. When they say go, we go. And we've prepared for this day to start. And the team is so excited to be back together playing. They've done a good job through July in their small clusters, not being able to see people outside their small clusters, which is difficult um, to do um, for any of us to really stay so isolated. And they've done a good job at that. And then I think they're just so excited now to be playing. And then we're wait, uh, you know, waiting to hear what happens. But right now our focus is just kind of day to day getting prepared. And then once we hear um, some final decisions on the season, we'll adjust and, and be ready to go when that time comes. Shelly, speaking of that, the uh, NCAA is supposed to talk about their fall sports championships today. Uh, at least a possibility is that they could cancel all of them. Have you had any discussions or thoughts about what y'all will do if that's the avenue that they choose to take? Well, um, you no, know, we, we've, I've kind of been in talks like with the SEC and kind of try to, we, we as a coaches group have tried to figure out what do we, what can we do? What can we do if, if the NCAA doesn't allow championships, are we still going to be out of a conference season at least? Those kind of things. So I think if we can have some kind of championship you're playing for, our players will, will be thankful for that at this point. Um, uh, you know, I think the hard part is that, you know, especially for the seniors, a lot of them had planned on graduating, going pro in the spring and, and kind of moving on. So I know they're really trying to get a season here. Um, and if we can play a conference season, we even have a championship among the power five, which has been kind of thrown around. Like, I think they'll be excited to, to do that. Um, so just kind of going back to uh, the pandemic a little bit and kind of just dealing with the situation, um, were you at all worried about uh, conditioning or strength or anything like that coming in, given that, given all the stay at home, uh, stay at home orders across the country? Yes, for sure. Um, we, I think all coaches right now were uncertain what their teams would look like because we, they don't have the, the training, the facilities to use that they normally do. So yeah, we missed out a few months of development of building some strength that they would have. Um, but I think the knowing the team and the group, they, they have done a good job to keep themselves pretty ready to go. Um, so I think, yes, we were concerned, but I, I was less concerned knowing that the university helped us bring these players back in July and to prepare because if we had not been able to do that then yes we wouldn't have been prepared to start today um but having that month to acclimate back after being home for so long and working with alex bookman our strength coach it, that was a huge help to them as it always is in the summer and so having those four weeks has really helped them you know get to this point and they look great this morning Shelly, i know that uh, everybody's kind of in, in the bubble now everybody's staying safe but the students will return in a couple of weeks for classes. Just how difficult is it going to be to, to tell the kids, you know, this is safe and this is work, uh, this works, and you, you just can't go out and do what you're used to doing as a, as a college student? Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly how it's all going to work. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, once students come back, it's going to be more difficult, especially when they have in-person classes, um, which most of them are not, but there are some. Um, uh, you can't, unfortunately, we just cannot keep them in a bubble. It's just impossible in the college life, but they know how to be careful. They know the precautions to take, um, wear a mask and keep your, wash your hands and stay away from people and all those things. Um, I think 
the the college kids will probably run into more trouble in the nightlife piece. And I think our players can stay away from that. They they care about their season and and uh, and all that. But you know they haven't even really gone to restaurants at all, even eating outside. So that's been tough on them and they've been disciplined. I think we've got to at some point figure out how to maneuver through this without uh, well, keeping their mentality going too. Is there any way that y'all can have a straight online academic schedule for the whole team or is that just impossible to do right yeah, now? Yeah, we kind of asked that, but there's some classes, especially sciences with the labs that they're not allowing. So, um, so that's one of the issues. Um, but I think most of them are virtual. It's just we couldn't do everyone.